Man, look at this stupid thing. I actually really like this, but I hate the power issue that I have with it, which is it uses these style of batteries. This one is obviously not the big one that it actually needs, but it uses these batteries. And I have to replace them like every month or two. Annoying as hell. This is a little sensor. It's a wireless sensor. It's a smart sensor. It's sold by Miros. And honestly, I kind of love it. Connects to this stupid thing right here. A little wireless thing. I actually have two of these. One I rigged up, put in my attic, because I wanted to keep an eye on what the attic temperature was. But that setup was a lot more jank because, uh, well, I just kind of use tape. I do not want to use these stupid little batteries anymore for this. I want to set this somewhere and not even mess with it for like a year or three. Now these batteries are like three volts. So let's see. Hit that. Is that a plus? Yeah, that's plus right there. All right. It's registering 3.27. Like any battery, it's going to fluctuate up and down depending on the charge, including this one. I ripped this out of one of the piece of crap power stations that I didn't want tore it apart kept the batteries this is a 3.7 volt so this should probably get me I'm gonna say three and a half four and a half sorry uh, okay 4.3 last one of these little stupid things that I did I pretty much just like soldered some stuff on the back and then like taped it to one of these batteries today I'm gonna do something a little different I'm gonna try I'm gonna try to make this a little bit better not a lot just a little bit. It comes in something like this. This is not it. This is just something close, but it's just, it comes in like a little plastic piece of crap box, but screw that. Bought this off Amazon. It's actually pretty solid plastic right here, but it's meant to hold these things right there. I put electrical tape because I scratched this one, but it's meant to hold these uh, 40 or 21 700s. I'm gonna be running two of these things. Right, we're running them in parallel, not series. Calm down. This should last for like 20 million years. I mean, this ain't freaking rocket science, but I'm gonna lay this out real quick. Got some wire right here. We're gonna be connecting the negative. See that? The negative to the negative, and then we're gonna connect the positive to the positive. Snip that right there. Snip that. Now I got some nice, long, excessively stripped cables, so I got plenty to work with. I am a professional. Look how perfect that is. Now I got this cheap little stupid thing. I put a magnet on it just to give it some weight because this thing kind of sucks. But I'm just gonna clamp that. Let's see. I'm just gonna clamp on right. Let's clamp it right there. There we go. That, that's that's terrible. That's absolutely horrible. What am I even doing with this right now? Let's see, maybe you can go like right there. Yeah. Okay. All right. There we go. Look at that. That that ain't. That sucks, but that ain't that bad. Give me some soldering. Come on now. There we go. There we go. Look at that. Yeah, you sexy bitch right there. Yeah. Oh, God, look at that. Oh, that's so perfect. Man, I just learned you something. There we go. Spread that around. Oh, yeah, yeah, God, that's so good, that's so good, look at that, oh, yeah, y'all like, like I know what I'm doing, I'm just making this up as I go along, let's go along to the other side real quick, there we go, yeah, perfect, a little bit more, because why not, just a little bit more, there you go, there we go, oh, yeah, baby, that's perfect, <laughs> at least it's functional i don't know about perfect now you guys want to see some arts and craft type shit look at this all right so you see this right see that little crevice i'm gonna stick that in the crevice hole right there it's gonna be clean as shit to do that i'm gonna use this if you guys don't have this and you do anything with hot glue if you don't have this you're missing out right i'm gonna link it in the description it works with any dewalt battery Big, big spoon turned me on to this. I don't even know what brand it is, but this thing is, this is amazing. This is like, 
This is like hot glue orgasm every time you use it. I'm telling you, it's amazing. It takes like 60 seconds to warm up and then you just got a nice, juicy, warm tip right there. Just get a little, a little something's already ready. It's already moist. It's like, look at that. Yeah, yeah, it's all ready. Boom, I didn't even have to squeeze it too. Look at that. Yeah. Use my little blow, blow thing here. Push that in there. Oh shit, that's hot. Oh, oh god, I messed it up. Oh, I'm just pushing in there. Fuck it. There you go. Whatever. Link in the description. I ain't done yet. I'm gonna add this all up in the middle here. Make sure it's nice and secure. Sloppy as shit. I should have got a smaller battery. This thing's heavy. No, I need some more. Oh, way more. Ow. Yeah, that's hot as hell. Oh, I don't even care though. There we go. That is by far the worst hot glue job I have ever done in my entire life. Like, God damn, I screwed that all up. That's all right, because I also got a heat gun. Look at that. Heat this up, make it look better. Try to fix my screw up. Get your ass back in there. You ain't going nowhere. You ain't going nowhere. No, no, get in there. God damn. That's why I don't do arts and crafts. I suck at it. I'm pretty sure this ain't gonna cause any problems. I feel pretty confident. Get everything nice and secure there. All right, got my little pair of needle dick pliers. Come on, man. There we go. There we go. Look at that. There we go. I got you in there nice and warm like. Yeah, get in there. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Got our positive, we just gotta get them connected. Actually, I was thinking this through. I just had a stupid idea with thumbtacks. I need this to be up, and I need to sit on the back and chill, All right? I got these holes, look at that. See, look at that. Now the question is, do I try to solder this or do I hot glue it? I feel like I should probably hot glue it. Yeah, that's about right. Did I lose it? Where'd it go? Oh, yes. See, that would end up in my foot if I didn't know where it was. Give me some standoffs, stick that through right there. Oh man, that's freaking genius right there. Yeah. That's genius. Ooh, there we go. Way too much. There we go. There we go. There we go. There's a little bit of that gully right there. Yeah, yeah, I'm so easy. Stick it right there on that corner. I'll need some on this side. Probably a whole bunch. There you go. Oh gosh, that's stupid. I think that'll work. So now, it's basically gonna sit. Do I got these bent down? Yeah, I got these bent down. So this is basically gonna sit like this. 
Something like that. Just like that. Give or take. Ow! 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 God damn, that is hot as hell. I just got that all up on my shit. Ow! God damn. Ow! Ow! So, here's the handiwork, right? We got that. That looks pretty solid all the way around. Negative is good. As far as this positive, that's good. Flip it over here. Both of those are solid. Both of those are solid. Like, I think overall is pretty good. Only thing left, well, I guess first I should probably, before I get too crazy with the glue, first thing I should do is probably uh, plug this in. So positive, negative, see what happens. Should, there you go. See, look at that. Still working. All right. It only needs one battery, but there we go. Okay. So both sides good. All right, cool. I think I need to repair it, but okay, you can stop with that. You can stop. Screw it. You see, this is pretty cool because, like, I can go into my Miros app and I already have one sensor already set up. Once I pair it up, essentially, I can just look at the humidity, the temperature, I can get a full history, and wherever I have this set, I can kind of get an idea of what the temperatures are like. Just in case maybe during the day the server room gets too hot or something, I'll be able to look at that and know that I need to do something. Another thing I like is that you can set up automation. So like I could take a Miros smart plug and I can hook a fan up to it. And if for whatever reason temperature gets out of control, I can kick on a fan or something like that, right? It's got some automation stuff. So along with that, I can even set up alerts. If, you know, some stupid reason I wanna know if it gets over whatever, I can, I can know. All right, I brought a couple different sensors in here. I waited about 20 minutes, went off, did some other stuff, and pretty much like 79.9, 80, and then it's like 79.5 on that, right? So just make minor calibration adjustments, and that's it. I don't think I really need to do any kind of anything else except for obviously put more glue on it. I in no way wanted to make this like, you know, something super safe or whatever, but when I was gluing it, kind of just finalizing everything, whatever. I realize, you know, you get your positive and negative, but they're just sticking out on the side. So I decided to put a little bit of glue on it just to make sure I, I don't easily, like if this falls off or whatever, it just doesn't easily touch both of those. You know, yes, there's still no risk, but the thing sticking off the side, at least have a bubble of glue to give it some sort of insulation protection. But the rest of it, just raw dogging it, Got a nice sensor I can set in my server room, and that's it. Well, guys, I, again, definitely recommend if you want to get a glue gun and you want to use DeWalt batteries and you want it portable and on the go, check out the links in the description for that. And most importantly, I will absolutely link the Miros sensors. They're nice. They keep up to a month worth of data. It allows you to go through, see the humidity, see the temperature, and set up automation just in case something goes away, you know, crazy and you want to do something in reaction to it. These things are pretty awesome. The only thing is their battery life sucks. So keep that in mind. But hey, that's it for today. Like and subscribe and have yourself a great day. And I'm gonna set that right about there. Perfect. 
side note, I have fallen off the deep end when it comes to this. I've gotten like a bunch of different packs, starter packs, like all kinds of just, just stuff. I'm taking stuff apart. And right now I'm just practicing like I've removed a bunch of different things. I don't even know what most of this stuff is. I'm just like practicing the art of desoldering. So that's, that's, that's where I am right now.